All right, quiet down. Quiet down, please. Uh, you can all go ahead and put on your goggles. Uh, this is Chemistry Instrumental Analysis 331A. So let's hope you're in the right class. Uh, my name is Professor McKenna, and we're going to have a lot of fun this term. We're going to learn a lot about all these different instruments here. You might even say we'll get a little intimate with them. That's a joke. We're going to have a lot of fun here in class. We're going to have a lot of jokes, a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and look at our first instrument over there to your left. Right, so this is the hypobaric anisophyre. <laughs> Wait, what is it called? It, it's the hypobaric anisophyre. <laughs> now, get your giggles out now. I know it's got a funny name, but you won't be laughing when we're spending four hours a week in lab determining the various anicity of elements under constant pressure. So, uh, the, the sample goes up top here, and you take the readout right here. Right? Everybody get it? Got it? Good? Great, let's move on. <laughs> so this fascinating piece of equipment is known as the diarrhea resonance capacitor. <laughs> the what? The, the diarrhea resonance capacitor. I, am I speaking loud enough for people in the back? No, I'm, I'm good, sorry. <clears throat> now, the <laughs> diarrhea resonance capacitor can be a finicky machine. You feed it any questionable bits at all and it'll spit it right back up at you. Make sure to feed it small amounts at a time so that it has time to digest before the next sample. You're all going to learn a lot from the diarrhea resonance capacitor. I can just tell. If you'll follow me this way. Right, so this machine is called a nuclear vaginal rediditifier, or NVR for short. Now you work the machine by taking your index finger and middle finger and placing it on the vaginal decimator. And then you can work the rediditifier with your pinky. Two on the decimator. One on the rediditifier. That's what I always say. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Yes. What does the NVR uh, test exactly? Rididity. It tests rididity. You'll learn all about rididity and anicity during my lectures this year. But hey, hey, put down that cock pisser. It's not a toy. It's a very fragile instrument. Uh, sorry, Professor McKenna, but uh. But do all these instruments have such ridiculous names? Ridiculous names? I don't think Herman Scott Cockpisser thought he had a ridiculous name when he invented the cockpisser. Ah, now this beautiful device is a dick licker. Well, it's not its real name actually, that's just what we call it around the lab. It's actually a penis sucker, named after penis sucker Bennington, a Scottish inventor of the 1800s. Over the course All right, of class. Uh, my apologies for my tardiness. I couldn't find my class roster. Uh, today we're going to. What's going on here? Get out of my classroom and put that down. That is a very expensive penis sucker. Morning, a missionary of a ties with neon sign. He tells the native population that civil.